Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. I'm currently set up out here at Kegel Recreation Area. It's a forest service campground. I've camped here quite, quite a number of times. It's a great place for me to camp while I'm having service done on the RV. And I just discovered something that I didn't know. They actually have a, a loop trail that goes out through the, the piney woods. So I thought, hey, I'm going to take you guys on a ride through the woods. I got a little red, the high speed mobility scooter. I got the GoPro Hero 9 and best of all, I have you. So let's go for, let's go explore this trail through the Sam Houston National Forest. I didn't put in the max lens mod because it's not gonna make that big a difference in the greater scheme of things. I don't think, anyway, I'm not exactly sure how far or where can we go all the way around. I don't know. What I do know is this little asphalt trail is really rough. We're on the banks of Lake Conroe. In the Sam Houston National Forest, south and west of Huntsville. So this goes on over to the other campground. This goes back out into the woods. I haven't found a map for this specific trail. So I'm exploring kind of blind. And that's kind of cool. Not knowing where we're going. And we sure won't be going there in a hurry on this trail because it is super rough. lost her glasses. So if you were out here at Kegel Recreation Area and you lost your glasses on the trail, now you know where they are. Someone was kind enough to hang them in plain sight. Breach. 
but no troubled water. One of the park hosts has a scooter similar to Little Red. I don't think she's nearly as uh, aggressive, I guess is a good word, with hers as I am with mine. Didn't, didn't appear that way. I don't think it's the same brand either. But then again, I think they all come from like two different manufacturers in China. So. <laughs> A bug in my throat. Sorry about that. left that goes back toward the boat ramp so we'll go right In some ways that seems to be a good thing, it's not quite as rough. gonna make hill climbing a little tricky.
little bit slippery right there. Pine needles make it very difficult to get traction. Battery's getting low. Let's save a little battery. Use the feet a little bit. At least till we get to the better traction oh, sorry about that I'll, I'll, I'll cut that ground shot out Take us all the way back out to the road. Not all the way back out. It's taking us out to the road. Apparently there's a, a lot of people that come down here and go fishing. Alright. I need a hard on the scooter. Just can't <laughs> can't get any traction. the hill a little bit here. It's just bogging down in the leaves.
That road you, you can see in here, that goes into New Waverly at 45. They intersect 45 and that highway intersect, I think it's like 1794 or something like that. They intersect at New Waverly. Big log hang. That was that was a surprise. Well, I'm very disappointed that the really rough asphalt trail played out because uh, that was much better traction.
So we're passing the, the entrance to the campground to our left. It means we're getting really close to where we started. Yep, I see the shower building right ahead of us. Yay, the battery held out. We've come full circle. Sure appreciate you right along. That was fun. I don't know. I hope y'all enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, it was a nice change from riding on pavement, I guess. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, man, that's why I do it. That's why I get to go on these cool trail rides. Thank you for that. You guys are awesome. And for my patrons, you rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?